What's up, everybody? Are you ready? It's Travis Gamer Robin here today, and I have a quick gameplay for you guys of Brick Force. This is a death match of me using the sniper rifle, and it's pretty cool. It's a good, it's a good match, I believe so. And I'm just gonna talk to you guys about the game today, and while you watch this, so you get a little feel like, well, if I win the beta key, what am I really getting? For those of you who don't know, Brick Force is a free-to-play shooter that's coming out. Um, in a few months, uh, there's no exact date yet. Um, honestly, like, this game is a little different from what I'm used to and what you might be used to as well. It's really a different type of FPS, and it's really a different type of builder, a uh, block builder. Like, Minecraft has its own thing, and it's more of an open world, and you kill. Um, like, it's more like, it has, like, more of an RPG feel. While Brick Force is the same thing as Minecraft with the whole building aspect, but it's more of a kill other players feel to it. But that's an, cause you can separate this. You can have um, just a building aspect where you just build all day. And then if you get bored of building your map that you want to play on later on, which is something like some, like this map I'm playing on right now is made by someone. So this person that made this map decided, okay, let me share it with the rest of the multiplayer community. They did so and I'm playing on it now. So it's pretty cool how you can share your maps with others. And Minecraft has the same exact thing where you can share your map with others. Um, but it's more of on like a form feel. Like you have to like s submit it somewhere. Where Brick Force you can just share it and it's automatically on the multiplayer selection list. So right now I'm pretty much owning it up with this sniper rifle. Until someone decides to spawn up behind me and it really sucks. Because uh, I try switching to my pistol. Cause just have to kill him and boom. I end up getting the kill with a no scope. So this game is a little different from what I'm used to. Like I said, I'm used to playing like Battlefield and and really in games that require a lot of skill. Like you really need to be good at Battlefield in order to kill people. Oh, well, this game you do need to be able to aim well and point and shoot at huge heads. It's different because the feel of the game is not the same what you're used to and what I'm used to because it's really I don't know, like, it has a weird feel to it where everything smoothly goes and you just smoothly point it and bam. Um, there's no, there's no, uh, bullet drop and that's what I'm used to in, in these games. I'm used to bullet drops and I'm used to stuff like that. I'm used to, like, real life aspects. And this guy spawned right here in front of me, which is so stupid. Because you get spawn protection, so he just owned me. But there's many maps you can play from because it's not that many key is getting sent out now they just had an open beta weekend where hey if you can crash the server then you're welcome to then you're welcome to join the beta but they weren't able to crash the server so they didn't send out 40,000 keys to people but guess what guys jobless gamers always has your back and we're gonna give you guys keys so like I said in the, we're having the, be the beta giveaway we are also giving away Dota 2 keys which I'll make a video for that in a little bit um, it's going to be a really good giveaway. I mean, I have a good amount of beta keys to give away. And I might even give some more out later on. It just depends how things go. I really look forward to um, doing this giveaway because I really like helping out the Brickboard community. Now, the community that they have is great. They have um, a really supportive community. The staff over at Infirm that's created Brickforce are a bunch of really nice girls and guys. I, I meant to say guys and girls, but same thing. I met some really nice people from Infernum and we've become pretty close friends. So Infernum's always got the Dobbs Gamers back. And I hope to see like more community based from more games. Um, honestly, like a lot of games don't have a community aspect to it anymore. If you think about it, like Activision or I don't know, a lot of big time games like Blizzard, Stuff like that, like, there's no, there's no community from the company and the player. There's, there's no interaction. I mean, there's no help you can automatically receive. Like, in Blizzard, you have to wait so long for a ticket to be responded just because there's so many players. Like, they're understaffed, and it really sucks for them. And I really, I'm glad Infernum has a good staff to be there for you. Like, you can go on Facebook and ask a question. Or, on, or ask them on their Twitter, and they'll get back to you, like, ASAP. It's really cool. And if you have any serious questions, like, hey, my game is crashing, whatever, they'll get back to you. On the forum as well, very, very active. If, if there's a good community, that means it's always going to be fun. I mean, they're always going to hold events. They're always going to be 
having special giveaways. They're always going to be doing something with the community, and there's going to be always going to be involvement. And that is why Brickforce should succeed the way its current business model is. It's player first, then money. That's how I see that their business structure is right now, and that is great because when you always put the player first, you're always bound to succeed. I've never heard of a game that's put player second and failed as a game. Um, player first and failed as a game. I've heard of a lot of games that put player second and failed because the players, you can tell when someone is really in it for what they're in it. You know, like, let's, I'll give you an example. Okay, let's say you want to join YouTube, right? And you join YouTube on the whole field of, all right, well, I want to join it for the money. In a few months with your subscribers that you get, you're not going to make it because you're in it for the wrong reason. You can't be in YouTube for the money. You really can't because you won't make it in life or in the YouTube game because in YouTube, like when, when people make videos, you can really tell if they're in it for what they say they are. Like an example, I'm really into YouTube because I enjoy doing this. I enjoy helping out games. I enjoy helping out the community and I enjoy entertaining you guys. I, I really do like this. This is what I want to do for a very long time because it's fun. I like doing what I'm doing and I like playing games so it all works out together and it shows in my videos it shows that i care I, I really do a lot of things for you guys i give out i've done in the last month i've done like four giveaways i don't know how i ended up doing that but i've done a lot of giveaways and i really want to help out the community and for those of you that are not as lucky to get into betas i want to help you guys because it really sucks when there's a game that you really want to play and you're not able to play it because I've been in your shoes and I know exactly how you feel. Because back in the day when I was just a nobody, I was just a regular gamer, I wasn't able to do what I'm able to do today. I can get into almost every beta and that's because of the support from you guys. And because I can get into every beta, I feel you guys should too as well. And that is why I'm hosting these giveaways like Brickforce. I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. I ended up getting first place. So, it's been Jobless Gamer Robin guys. Till next time, later.